Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about Star Wheeler wrenches. Star Wheeler wrenches are one of the best banners I have ever come across. It may sound cheeky, but believe me, I have used them a lot. I have seen others using them for years. I own 8 to 9 mm wrenches and decided to get them in whole master set. The sizes included from 5.5 mm all the way to 34 mm without any skips. That's what I like, no skips, wrenches or socket set. I'm loving this master set already. Let's pick up some random spanner. This is 13 mm wrench. Now here is the odd situation. These are regular size wrenches and the product code is 13. This particular wrench is 13 mm. Look at the size difference of the numbers. On the open end side, the number 13 is bit bigger than the bottom one on the box end side. This is really confusing big time. Now look at the 14 mm wrench. If you look onto the box end side at the number 13, it gives wrong impression of size number. For me, I'm used to it, but for the new user, it will get pretty confusing. Even though I'm used to it, but sometimes I also get annoyed. Like this hazard wrench, the size numbers are on the both end, making it more easy visible. Here, other side of wrench, only the size number is stamped though. Now let's talk about construction and the appearance. Beautiful rough industrial matte chrome finish. I don't hate shiny chrome finish, but I'm always into German style rough satin chrome finish. I like how these letters and the numbers are direct forged during forging process. These are lightweight, nice workmanship and it's consistent throughout the surface. Inner side of the open end has been nicely broached. Look at the thickness, how thin this wrench is. Box end has same story, nice consistent finish. Let's pick up another one beautifully finished wrench. It's number 18 and look at the thickness. Pretty thin. I'm really impressed with the craftsmanship. Both box end and the open end are nicely broached. It feels light but good in hands. That's number 27. It's a huge wrench but again does not feel much of the weight. But these are strong as hell. These wrenches have this concave shape which is why these are light due to the fact inner part has less metal. But it does not compromise on the strength because you put force vertically where real strength matters. The box and inner points are not straight edgy but with the angle. These wrenches call AS by Stahlwille. AS stands for anti-slip. If you look closer to the box end, it has round grooves which avoid force on the edges of the fastener but put more force on the center of the fastener. It's like flank drive of snap-on wrenches. The box end has 15 degree angle. There are 14 series wrenches which has offset profile and bit longer than this 13 series. If you notice this, 13 series are not very long wrenches though. These are pretty compact and sometimes we need short wrenches. So what I did was, I grabbed set of double box star wheel wrenches plus this 13 series of shorter profile for tight areas. And then I wanted some spanners from Hazard and bought extra long hazard spanner which by the way are pretty long. Now I have a longer version, shorter slash regular length version and offset double box and wrenches. This 34mm wrench has the number on open end side and stamp instead of forge unlike rest of the wrenches. Don't know why and it's not very visible. I would like to have those forged number. Again look at the rough style matte chrome finish. It's awesome. This rough chrome finish has its advantages. These are less slippery than the shiny chrome. Usually, American brands are shiny chromed and those look nice too. But top 3 German brands such as Hazet, Gedeur and of course Stahlwille all have rough matte chrome finish. It's all personal but I like these rough forged texture. One thing I have noticed that only the biggest wrench has mark made in Germany and this double Z mark. Although this whole set is made in Germany and it was mentioned on its package which I throw them away. The open end side have no grooves or ridges like some of the other brands such as flank drive of Snap-on, Mac, Falcom etc. This plain surface can have its advantages and disadvantages. If you are working on custom cars where you don't want to mark on custom shiny chrome fasteners then flank drive type of wrenches are not recommended. But wrenches with ridges on the open surface do grab the rusty fastener better but sometimes they chew up the edges of the fasteners making them more vulnerable for the future use. Let's check the smallest size. It's 5.5 mm. No matter what size the wrench is, the workmanship and the texture detail are the same and consistent as the other bigger sizes. I like these wrenches so much and even I start collecting missing bigger sizes. 
Here I got 38 mm. I don't know about automotive usage of this size, but my wheel bearing forcing screw has 38 mm size. This is a massive wrench. I love these. This foam insert is also nice for keeping the wrenches organized, and you have noticed that it's not wasting so much space. Here I got stall wheel ratchet to compare the surface finish. Look at the texture and the chrome job on both. Exact same, which tells the workmanship consistency. Stahlwille has its own trademark finish. Here I have got Hazard extra long wrench, just to give a brief comparison. I love these Hazard wrenches too. Hazard has its own texture and chrome style. Look at the length, both are 19mm. Hazard one is thicker and heavier for obvious reason for the long reach length. It has to be beefier due to the leverage this wrench can produce. Here you can see the difference in thickness, not much. Stahlwille is slightly thinner. I have used Hazard wrenches a lot too. They are robust also. Both made in Germany and can't go wrong with any of them. Stahlwille wrenches are not cheap but you can get them on deal. Just need to wait for the deal and grab that when it comes. I bought these wrenches off Amazon and I will also put the link into the description if you guys wanna check them out. Stahlwille is a premier brand of Europe. Now I show you some interesting facts. Look at the price. Here is 11 piece set of regular spanner from Stahlwille, 8 to 22 mm sizes. Price is just 88 euros slash 96 dollars plus 15 euros and 16.39 dollars for the shipment. It's a German Amazon and they ship worldwide. One caveat, I'm not sponsored by Stahlwille by any mean, nor I hate any other brand for that matter. But look at the price for the premium brand. Now compare the similar set from another premium brand of USA, the Snap-on. 10 piece set, 1 piece less than Stahlwille set, sizes from 10 to 19 mm versus 8 to 22 and the price is 488 dollars, in euros it's 446. This is flank drive plus set and here is normal flank drive set, the price is 471 dollars. If you add 88 plus 15 euros for the shipment, it becomes 103 euros. So you can buy 3 of these Stahlwille set versus 1 set of snap on one. Now, warranty might be a problem, but Stahlwille does replace in case of breakage. Maybe not conveniently as the snap-on, but they do warranty. But you hardly break these unless you abuse them, or anything can be break when abused over the limit. Just to give a quick perspective, they said I bought it for around 325 euros slash 355 dollars with free shipment. 25 piece a set from 5.5 mm all the way to 34 mm and here is a similar set from Snap-on with 25 piece a set and look at the price $1980 versus $355 plus $16 shipment. Now calculate the rough math. You can get 5 of these Stahlwille set versus 1 set of Snap-on. That's insane. Now I don't hate Snap-on or any other brand. And there are tons of other options available which are good value for money. I'm just giving another quick insight. Overall, these Stahlwill wrenches are my favorite. These are not perfectly polished like other shiny chrome brands, but these are tough and robust. I have seen one video where Stahlwill spanner ranked on the bottom during the comparison test, which I find pretty odd and unusual for the likes of Stahlwill quality. There must be something wrong with that spanner, or it was fake, or something wrong with that particular lot. As I mentioned, I know many people who owns these wrenches for years without any problems. Additionally, I have seen decades of old style with wrenches in my automotive schools and those are used by students every year, every day. New students come and go but these wrenches remain intact. Teachers told us that only few spinners got broken years after years of usage and then got warranted. As far as my personal experience and the knowledge is concerned, Stahlwille spinners are one of the best, if not the best. I'm pretty happy with these wrenches. So, what do you guys think about these wrenches and the prices? I would love to hear difference of opinion. For now, I leave it to you guys. Thanks for coming along. Consider to like and subscribe my channel. I will see you in another video.